let's see some properties of ncr here okay so one of the properties ncr is equal to nc n minus r so let's see why this is true let's see what is lhs and what is rhs we know that if we have ncr so whatever it is here the formula is n factorial divided by n minus this one into factorial into this factorial isn't it therefore left hand side is nothing but n factorial divided by n minus r factorial into r factorial now let's see the right hand side right hand side in place of uh, you know one term we are having two terms here let's consider this entire thing as x let's consider this entire thing as x then what do we get n factorial divided by n minus x factorial into x factorial now in place of x substitute n minus r so if i place substitute n minus r in place of x then i get n minus n minus r n minus r uh, factorial into n minus r factorial then what do we get here n factorial divided by r factorial into n minus r factorial now if you compare this one and this one both are same therefore this property holds good ncr is equal to nc n minus r so why is this useful uh, okay see x is not there you can remove x okay this is the property now why is it useful that you have to remember this one is uh, sometimes if they if they give you a question like this ncx is equal to ncy now what is the relationship between x and y so in order to directly solve it it might take some time but if you remember this one you can directly uh, no stay you know substitute you'll directly get the answer so if this if this equation has to hold true then either x should be equal to y or if x equal to y then it is obviously true otherwise what should happen is if you are having x here there should be n minus x then only both are going to be equal then in that case y is equal to n minus x or x equal to n minus y anything is same if you substitute anything see in place of x if we place n minus y this entire thing holds true because of that formula in place of y you substitute n minus x this entire thing holds true because of that formula got it therefore the relationship between x and y is either x is equal to y or this one and anyway both of them are going to say the same thing what is it n equal to x plus y or x plus y is equal to n right so in some questions we might come across this uh, these these properties so try to remember them and other one is the maximum value for ncr so if you want to find out the maximum value of a function you are supposed to find out the derivation and then equate it to zero and then find out the double derivation and see that its value is positive that is the entire process but then here it is so simple that i don't want to derive it all so since it is a very simple thing you can easily remember it so i'm directly writing it if you have ncr the value of ncr will be maximum in case let's say case a n is even if n is even right then the value of ncr is going to be maximum when r equal to n by 2 exactly midway okay the middle the middle element is going to be maximum b n is odd in case if n is odd then the value of this ncr is going to be maximum when r is equal to n minus 1 by 2 or r is equal to n plus 1 by 2 in these two cases these are the two values for which it is going to be maximum and moreover these are the two cases for which it is equal also so for these two cases whenever r equal to n minus 1 by 2 or n plus 1 by 2 it is maximum that is fine along with that uh, it is also it can also be proven that you know uh, the values are equal so if you want to prove that the values are equal just see this what i mean to say is nc n minus 1 by 2 okay and this one is nc n plus 1 by 2 let's let's see whether these two are equal or not what did i say these two are equal either when this term is equal to this term or when both of them when they when you sum sum it up the answer is going to be n see let us say this one is x and let us say this one is y 
when when are we going to get this one nc x equal to nc y whenever n equal to x plus y if that is the condition we can say that both are equal right and it is already maximum because i am not going to derive it there is derivation it is going to take some time so directly you can remember it easily okay and now let's see if it, if they are actually equal or not how can we see see it let's add them up n minus 1 by 2 plus n plus 1 by 2 1 and 1 these two will get cancelled that is nothing but 2n by 2 which is n therefore some of these two are going to give us n and so they, they both of them must be equal so what is the what is inference uh, that you can get from these formulas is whenever you are having in any question whenever you come across this situation like this 10c4 let us say 10c6 if you want to compute 10c6 10c6 is nothing but is equal to 10c4 why 10c 10c or nc or is equal to nc n minus or therefore 10c6 is nothing but 10c4 so you can simplify easily now let us say you have to find out 10c9 10c9 is nothing but 10c1 which is nothing but 10 right so it is very easy to find out like that some conversions and similarly if you have let us say hmm, 10 C or the value of 10 C or will be maximum when R equal to 5. Let us say you have 11 C or the value of 11 C or will be maximum when R equal to n minus 1 by 2 which is nothing but 5 or n plus 1 by 2 which is nothing but 6. At both 5 and 6 the value will be maximum and for both 5 and 6 the value will be same when R whenever R equal to 5 or 6. Got it? So using this if you remember these properties it will be easy for us to um, solve the equations okay let's see some more properties on ncr 